laptop, going to try and go live here and see if I can pick up all of your, um, let's see if I can pick this up on screen. Yep, good so far. Am I going to be able to read any of your comments? That's going to be the next thing. Um, Yes, indeed. Us, this is working. Us. So, welcome to Thursday. Um, uh, and um, I've got a laptop, so I can see your comments, which is good. So, uh, I'm going to kind of be dipping over here to my right uh, every now and then just to say hello to a few people. So, um, yeah, get there in the end. Just takes a little bit of time because the app has definitely changed. Um, so, uh, welcome to Thursday. Uh, us. Uh, this is going to be kind of part two uh, of what we did on Tuesday. So, Tuesday, we took a basic technique of Aguki and I showed you its uh, transition or its evolution from beginner right away through to uh, approaching black belt. And this evening we're going to do the same, but we're going to do a different technique. Uh, we'll use another block, so we're going to do soto uri uki, so outside forearm block. Um, starting from a basic kiong perspective, from a beginner, um, moving through to the kind of 10th, uh, um, 9th, 8th Q syllabus, then into the 7th and 6th Q syllabus, so sort of uh, yellow and green then going into 5th and 4th queue, so purple belt, that kind of level, and then 3rd queue and above as we edge towards black belt. The, the evolution of this technique is really nice, and it actually also has my favourite uh, Shotokan Karate combination, um, which is really, really good for me, so I get to practice that as well. So we'll do that later, later on in the evening. So um, just let a couple more people join, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll start saying hello to people, so excuse me while I go to the laptop. Um, okay, so... So, uh, us Ken, good evening, us, us Andy, Sensei, good evening, good evening Ewan, I hope you're okay, um, who else have we got, good evening Huxable Clan, us, um, good evening Kayla, hope you're well, us, and good evening Harry, hope you're well, us, hope you're still practicing Harry, good boy, um, good evening Isaac, us, uh, good to see you young man, who else have we got here? And us Magdalena, good evening, good evening. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to follow this a little bit easier um, as the comments come in and um, be able to sort of say hello to people as, as that happens. Um, us Thomas, us, hope you're well. So what we're going to do is do a usual quick warm up uh, starting the lesson and then we will continue uh, with uh, our Kiong technique for tonight. So um, as I say, it's showing the transition of a basic Kiong technique from beginner to black belt. Uh, that's the plan this week. What's happening next week is, don't know, okay, um, if I'm open to ideas and suggestions, remember I've got a prop, probably about a two metre by two metre space, not much bigger than that, and um, if you've got an idea that you'd like to see in, the, in my dojo, then uh, let me know, and I can always try that next week, uh, or see, at least uh, look, about, look at into it. Um, beyond that, we don't honestly know at this moment in time what's happening in terms of uh, the end of the lockdown. So we will continue here every Tuesday and Thursday until such a time that we're back in the dojos. Hopefully in the new year we'll be back normally um, and uh, whatever normally is, whatever normally looks like. So uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Okay, so let's get going. So great, us. Okay, so just rotating your arms forward, nice and relaxed. Again, just check your surroundings, make sure you're not gonna knock over mum's favourite vase or anything bad like that. And try to take the tension out of your body. So if you had a good day or a bad day at work or a good day or a bad day at school, try to lose all of that. Of course we do this warm up and my body ankles up gets really warm from the feet below. I'm afraid it's sub-zero in here. Okay, left arm forwards, and then make a B figure of eight. Okay, then right arm forwards. And again, make a B figure of eight. This just gets the blow flowing to the end of the fingers, but also, more importantly, gets the... Um, uh, uh, muscles and uh, the joints, the joints warmed up is what I'm trying to say. So rotate forwards and rotate back. Okay, left arm forwards, right arm back. And change. Okay, 
good. So just show your ubis, your fingers, then your wrists, your take kubi, and then your lower arm, kidan one, yeah, and then upper arm, and just relax. Okay, very good. Bring your right knee to your chest. And take your left knee to your chest. Right knee back up. Okay, hold, balance, control, foot out. Back, down. Okay, left foot up, same again. Pull it in. If your balancing is really bad, then, then sit down on your supporting leg, helps your balance loads. Okay, foot out. Back, down. Other leg, up. Check your balance. Arms up, rotate through, and doing the super band. Knee back up, hands down, knee down, change. So again, make sure, make sure that your balance when you come up with this leg, sit down on the other leg. Okay, bring that knee up high, take the arms up high, rotate through, and hold. Okay, so back to this position. Hands down and leg down and back. Us. Okay, then hips are that cheek, just stretching. As I say, we're not really focusing too much on the legs this evening. Uh, it's going to be more uh, blocking, so we're using the upper body. And change. Remember, this isn't really stance training. This is, this is stretching. Okay, but this is not dissimilar to my Shotokan Karate stance when I first started. Long and low. Strong and powerful, slow and miserable in the winter. Change legs again. This time down to the ball of the foot and drop down with the hips. Let gravity drop, take you down and just stretch in. And we'll change it away this time. So again, gravity drop down. And relax. Okay, the hips round. <coughs> and the other way. And ready, horse. Okay, show your knees <coughs> and your OBs. And ready, horse. Just a quick hello to a few people. Uh, so for those that have not said hello. Now, good evening, Emmy and Sarah. I hope you're both well. Um, good evening, us, Isla and Lily and Paul. Us, thank you for joining me on this Thursday. It's lovely to see you. Uh, who else have I got there? Uh, Noah and Henry, us, us gentlemen. Hope you're okay. Hope it's all okay. And finally, Robot Family, us. Again, continue trying to shout outs if I can. Now I've got a screen, but I'm looking at a laptop. That's why I keep dipping out of screen a little bit there. Okay, thanks for joining us. Right, us. So, Soto Uriuki, outside for arm block. Okay, so from beginner to black belt in the space of 50 minutes. So, we're going to start with the basic technique from just normal shizen tie stance. So, shizen tie means natural. Okay, natural standing position. So, our feet are... Just slightly turned out, so if we're just standing normally, and this is called hachi dachi, hachi dachi. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, focus about these shoulders again. So keep this line the same. So at no point should this tilt. At no point should this tilt. Okay, so this is really important. Your shoulders give away so much about you, and in Shotokan Karate in particular, when I used to fight, they just with a basic thing that I watch for because as soon as they move you can pretty much tell what someone's going to do unless good karate can keep their shoulders down not like this okay so <clears throat> take your right arm out and as you do relax the shoulder don't bring this up so just relax, relax your shoulder here excellent okay hey, then your position for this technique so if you remember we did agi yuki so on Tuesday solto yuki solto yuki here now you can bring your arm up higher if you wish to do so, because I was taught certainly the higher here. But I like to keep it just so this shoulder doesn't come up here. Up here. And this is called outside forearm blocks. So the part of the arm that we're using is this part here. Okay, so outside forearm blocks, soto uri uki. Um, my understanding is this is called gay one, uh, outer arm. Okay, so from this position here, check these, check your shoulders, not this. No tilting, no tilting. Okay, so this position here. And then 
you bring the arms together, so you see this rocking motion, this stays straight, okay? As I said before, Akita Sensei's um, Jiku point, okay, the, the uh, point in which we our axis, where we swivel, okay? This, this is a key part here. So as this comes across the body here to here, okay? And this is almost vertical, protecting the lower part of the body, okay? So this comes to chin height, no higher, no lower. People often, with this technique, cross over, too far, too far. So I think we may have lost, uh, lost you for a second, but hopefully I'm back again. So I'm just gonna go and quickly check. Um, it says that I'm still live, but I've lost the feed. So I'm just gonna see if we can get it back, uh, just to sort of double check that it's all still working okay. Okay, it could be that my internet's gone down, so I'm hoping that you're still getting to see this um, live at the moment. So, from, from this position here, okay, this arm, hikate arm, comes back to here. As it does, this arm comes across here. Okay, so from here to here. Not, not this angle, not this angle. Don't, don't bring the shoulder down to bring this one up. <clears throat> try, try to keep your form balanced here. 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 Okay, so just gonna try this again, because we seem to have lost the internet, and I don't know if you're still with me or not, but we keep our fingers crossed. Okay, yeah, no, it looks good again. Okay, good, so let's go full screen. Good stuff. Okay, so here, this position here. No, no shoulders. Shoulders level here, and this doesn't rise. <clears throat> okay, quite often I see junior students do this feeling. I, I think this is probably one of the most difficult blocks to learn, particularly as a beginner. Um, I remember very well my first few lessons in the dojo, and really struggling with this technique. Also, just not having any power with it. Um, <clears throat> I think that comes in time, I think it comes in time. I always felt Uchiuki was stronger, so inside block. Actually now, very much the other way around. I think this is very good, very strong as a block. So we're gonna do left arm up, right arm out, and we're gonna do 10 of these, so we're gonna change arms each time. Okay, so left arm, right arm out. Okay, your e position here, ready? Hey, and each, nice and slow. And your e position, knee. And your e position, Sun and your e position, she and your e position, go. Check these again, check their shoulders. Your e position, don't bring your shoulder up now. Ish, a your e position, itch, a your e position, ish, a your e position. One more ki, itch, a a a a a so try not to tilt, tilt the shoulders either way, either way. Keep your axis point, okay, where we're rotating correct. Shoulder down, shoulder up, N not, not good, okay. You're going to lose your balance more than anything else. And ultimately you lose your power. So when you step back, soft hold your key, okay, you step back outside forearm block. If you drop down like this for your shoulder, you're leaning forward, so this is, this is nearer to trouble. Okay, and your balance can't tense the body in the same way. So this affects everything we do. So we must make sure we pay attention to this uh, in, in great detail all the time. Okay, so once more, a your position. So a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Okay, but don't overdo it, okay? And remember, your ending point, your kime point here, as it comes in together, here, here. This is shime, so I'm contracting my muscles here to draw this arm in, okay? And here. Together, together. This, here, line, in centre. Okay, uh, this is your embusun, your performance line. Okay, this comes into in line with your tendon, your, your, this, this centre part of your body here. This, this is no good. This is, you've not blocked anything here. This is, this is trouble. This is also trouble. Okay, you've overblocked and potentially missed anything else that comes around. So we must make sure that we keep the shoulders down 
and we block correctly. Now as I'm blocking here, as this all completes, tense, contract these muscles here, okay, all, all the way down here. This is our, our horror, okay. Everything, everything here tightens, but only on the point of impact. If you tighten straight away, this is really uh, exhausting for one, but also really slow. And you look like the Incredible Hulks, which is never a good thing. So important to relax, relax, and tense just at the end. Relax and tense just at the end. Okay, let's go for 10 medium speed. Eight Soto Uri Uki Shizentai Natural Stance. Itch! Ayoi! Ni! Ayoi! San! Yoi! Shi! Yoi! Go! Ayoi! Rock! Yoi! Sitch! Yoi! Hutch! Ayoi! Ko! Yoi! Chu! Check! 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 And relax. And relax. Very difficult as a black belt not to use too much hip here. Okay, but I don't want to do it now because it's not what we do as a white belt, so we're trying to be white belts at this moment in time. Okay, so let's take this block then one step further and show you it moving forwards and moving it back, okay, into Zen Kutsudachi. So we're going to do front stance, Zen Kutsudachi. So this is one of our uh, most no normal stances that we use with the dojo a great deal, okay. 70% on the front leg, 30% on the back leg, near over the big toe, keep your hips here, okay, and then when you block, hand me, half facing. So again, hips showman, we said this on Tuesday, hand me. Showman and hand me. When you block, hand me. Here. This then enables you to, to punch or whatever it is, would be so you, that you're going to do next kick, etc. etc. We'll demonstrate that later. Okay, so, right, us. You're now going to need at least a metre forwards and a metre back because we're going to step forwards and backwards doing this block now. Okay, so step forward, Gidamba right, can I? Itch! Okay, so check your position first of all. Yoi! Okay, so left leg forward, right arm up. Okay, remember shoulders, here showman, hip showman at the moment. Okay, as we come through the transition, hips are hand me. Okay, so from this position here, hand me or showman, okay, but come through, hand me, hand me. You can see as well, the centre of my body is, is, is moving away, giving my uh, opponent less of a target. Okay, this coming in here, protecting this area. If I stay here, I give them more of a target, more difficult to, to use my block effectively. So we use our brain, we use a little bit of hand me. Okay. Stepping back, your position again, check your shoulders, okay. come through and blocking. Your position, come through, a your position, come back. Try not to tilt. Try not to tilt down here. Sit hips, hips down, not hips tilting forwards. Sit down, sit down on your stance, okay? Not, not tilting forwards, not leaning forwards. Important that you push down here. Keep this straight. I think the most important thing is that when you punch or block or kick, Use your, use your, if you're wearing an OB that is, use your OB, okay, as an indicator. That goes first. That's, that's you hitting something with that, okay. So if you drive that through, because it's attached to your hips, you'll know you're in the correct position. I hope that makes sense. So if you draw it back, you're wrong. If you push it through, you're correct. So that's what we've got to try and do. So, let's go Soto Uduki uh, forwards and backwards ten times. Hey, oi. Hand step forward, get amber right. Itch! Yeah. Okay, so check out your position, make sure you have enough room forwards and backwards, look straight ahead, arm up. Okay, and stepping through, soto uriyuki. Itch! Hey, coming back. Knee. No tension until the end. San. Shi. 
go look siege hatch go ikki ai chu Remember when you've bowed, us and raid, always come back to your always come back to your ready position because then you're ready. Continue to continue, uh, super take, continue, continue. Okay, so you're ready for that position. So important as we move faster to pay attention to details, those those little things I said. Shoulders, okay, don't tilt in, no leaning forwards and backwards. Okay, and this pick. Make sure you're protecting your body. That's the main thing with all the blocks. They are there to protect you, so therefore they're only going to be effective if they're done correctly. So, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, a little bit better. Hey, ready? Oss. Yo, step forward, get down right. Okay, so check your position, yo position, relax more. Each. And back. Knee. Song. Shi. Go. Roll. Siege. Hard. Go. Hey, Ju. Yeah. Hey, check your position. Are your hips in hand me or are your hips here? That's wrong. Hips hand me. Come back in your may. And we're us. Okay, so moving on. Uh, that was white belt, blue belt, red belt, orange belt, so uh, from beginner to 8th Q, so 10th, 9th, 8th, okay, then we look at 7th and 6th Q, so this is now for yellows, and juniors, green and green and white, for adults it's just green, so there's no white stripes in the adult syllabus, okay, so now we're going to do a combination, as we did on Tuesday, and it's very similar sort of in the way that it works, block, punch, block, okay, so remember what I said, with this three part combination, we're thinking in our heads, block, punch, and then reconnecting with our technique with a, with a really nice, strong, slow though, get that idambarai. Okay, so, us. More advanced because we've been training for longer. So, generally, yellow and green belts and you've been training about a year, at least 12 months, possibly uh, longer. Okay, so now more, more advanced techniques. Us. Hey, boy, and step forward, idambarai, itch. <coughs> Okay, so checking your position. The block is the same. Well, we must always go back to this. Go back to the basic block as a white belt. What comes after is more advanced. So, your position, check all of these positions that you need to do. Check your stance, just sink down. Come through and block. Punch and block. Your position. Block, hips back, hip in. Punch a uh, block down. Okay, anyway. Okay, so. Your e position. Come through the block. Here, hips handy. Then keep the punch connected to the hips. The hip drives the punch through. Here. Then reconfigure. Shoulders, check them, they should be down because you should be relaxed at this point and you only connect. Keep at the end. When you do hikate, this pull, push, pull, push, it's relaxed. Okay, so it's not, it's not tension like that. It's not someone pulling your belt. Okay, it's fast. Okay, not that's too much tension. As soon as we tense, we slow, okay? We think we're strong, but we're not strong as when we're fast. Speed equals power, you must remember that, okay? It's really important um, that, that, that you get that into your heads really, really quickly, okay? It's not size, it's not bulk, okay? It is down to technique, and it's down to this hikite, hikite. Okay, so, os, ayoi, and step forward, get under right, okay? so check your position, Take your position up. So we're going to now do a two-step and a third technique. So we're going to go punch and then get down right. Just slow speed. 
each. Then come back each. And then forwards each. So you can see the advancement straight away from a person who's trained over a year now, uh, from, from the beginner. So no longer we're we just focusing on the block, we're adding in a punch. Because when we're doing karate, we defend and counter uh, to, to, to in order to, to um, protect ourselves. Protect ourselves, get ourselves into a position where we can then move away, run away, etc, etc. So we're now block and punch. And the third technique is just reconnecting, reconnecting, coming back to Gadambarai, okay, ready to go again. So from one technique to three is quite difficult to do, but I think, um, as I say, you've had that period of time to learn the technique correctly. So when we first start to do this, the juniors get a little bit muddled up with their arms, actually so do the adults, let's be honest. Okay? And all you've got to think is that the arm that's blocked, yeah. so from this position here, the arm that's blocked can no longer be the punching arm, because it's been used. So then the other hand must be the punching arm. Once that's punched, that can't block again, so it has to be the other arm. And you kind of have to just um, keep reminding yourself of that. Okay, and I used to talk to myself, still do actually, probably the best conversations you get, but you have to teach yourself how to remember. And we all remember in different ways. Remember, I've said this many times, my job as an instructor is to try to find out your, your way and then give you different variations so you can, you can find your own path, uh, which is really, really important. So just very quickly, I'm just going to say hello to a few people because a few people joined. Uh, good evening, uh, Beth, us, I hope you're okay. Um, <laughs> I love that. Karate! Brilliant. Very, very good. Excellent. Yeah, you can put any comments you want on there, as long as they're pleasant. Okay, please. Uh, and any suggestions for another lesson would be awesome. Okay, great. So let's continue. Let's do uh, ten of these. Or stepping forwards, gear down, break. Each. Okay, check your position, make sure you have room to do this block and punch. So from here, you're going to step forward, Soto Uriyuki Gakuzuki, a Gidan Borai. So each block punch, and Gidan Borai. Nif, and Gidan Borai. Son, and Gidan Borai. Shi, Gidan Borai. Go! Because I did one wrong. Ish. So please, please excuse me if I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when we do this. The biggest issue we have with most people, and my foot moved, I don't let it move normally, but when we move forwards, we turn our foot out. Okay? Just push, push through. Okay, so just push through. Don't move that front foot. And I felt mine creak. Whether it moved or not, I shall look back at the video and no doubt see, but it felt like it was moving. So try to keep your front foot where it is. Human beings, that's us. Walk, walk, heel strike. We have, uh, let me show you first, we have three points to our foot that are really important. Okay, we have the heel, the ball of foot, and the edge of the foot. The outer edge where your little toe is, okay, your uh, mini sumasaki, okay, here. This is probably the most important part because that controls our balance. Okay, we often think it's here and here, but actually it's the it's that little part. So we've got to make sure that we are using the foot with how we naturally walk. We heel strike, go on to those other two points, the outer and the ball of the foot, and push through. And the knee, the knee travels forward. The knee doesn't like it when we do the heel strike, knee out, knee in, foot out, foot in. This is not correct. We don't walk like this. I hope you don't. I hope you don't. Um, we had an excellent, excellent lesson in, 
Osaka in Japan in 2016 with Abby Sensei, and uh, she taught us um, how to walk. It sounds like a crazy lesson, but actually what she was talking to us about is the natural motion of the human body, and karate needs to be natural rather than forced. So when I first started, we were very much told, thumb stance, force the knee over the big toe, force it down, force, force, force. The trouble is that actually is not helping. So naturally, 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 you can move forward. You don't need to move your front foot. You don't need to turn it in and out. Natural, yeah, so think, think natural makes more sense. Okay, great, awesome. So quick recap then, we did, um, let's make sure I keep my computer on so I can keep uh, my eye on the screen. So we uh, did Soto Uryuki from Shizuntai, so basic techniques, a beginner. Okay, then we did sort of the 10th Q syllabus, which is Soto Uryuki, an outside forearm block to here. And that's for sort of, as I said, 10th uh, Q, which in our syllabus is uh, blue, red, which is 9th, and 8th, which is orange. Okay, then we moved on to green, sorry, yellow, 7th Q, green, 6th Q, green and white, 5th Q, depending upon your association and level, etc. And that is Rokin Soto Uryuki Yakuzuki Gidambarai. We now move on to 5th, uh, 4th Q, 5th, 4th Q, so this is purple belt level, okay, purple belt level, and we go back, like I said on Tuesday, we go back to two techniques, and everyone thinks, well, that's easier, why would it be easier now? It's actually not, okay, I'll explain, as I did on Tuesday, as we do the techniques. So now, our technique, as in this one, in terms of uh, our waza, which means technique, should be more established. We've been training now as purple belts probably for two years, at least. Okay, at least 24 months, maybe longer, maybe 36 months, maybe four years, who knows. So our technique should be well established, our block should be strong. So we're now more focusing on the rotation of the hip for the punch. So we're making this into a proper Shotokan Karate technique combination, okay, that is powerful. So we're starting to build up the power, not hugely, but we're starting to build it, and the speed. So right, and your way, and step forward, get down the right. Each, okay, so again, check your positions. I'm just making sure I don't hit the Tori gate because that, it's gonna hurt if it falls on me. So we, we check this position here, okay. Your position stays the same. The block stays the same, but now it's the connection with the hip and the rotation with the punch. Just watch. Come here. This is straight through. So think of a bullet train. If you've ever seen one, and I've been on one and seen plenty, they literally rock it. It's like a, it's like a rocket on tracks. It's exactly the best way to describe it because they look like rockets. So they go straight, and that's why we want this block here to protect us and this line to straight straight through straight through that's our aim that's our aim and then we're going to rotate and move the arm back into your position ready to step back so let me start again right hey your way and step forward get down right each i have to move back to get into camera frame i'm sorry so i keep shuffling i know so from this position here going forwards nice and slow Okay, remember the block now should be established, but don't lose sight of it. Don't lose sight of this basic technique. Check your shoulders, check your hips are in the correct position. Come forwards and block. Okay, so again, block is a white belt. It's always good to remember yourself in your beginnings. Knee stays where it is. Hip. Hip rotates now. Hip rotates. And don't rotate the hip and bring your elbow out and punch. This is, this is bad form. Drive through with your hip. Drive through, shimmy, contraction here, straight, straight line, straight line, shinkansen, bullet train. This position here, the hip, keep this tight, tight to the body. If you're fighting, okay, and I used to fight an awful lot for about 25 years, the less I showed my opponents what I was doing, the better I was in terms of the techniques I would score with. Okay, as soon as you start to show your opponent technique, then you lose, you lose your, um, you lose where you are. So, from this position here, okay, check this more free, natural, okay, make sure both feet facing forward as much as possible, back foot out, can't engage your hip. It's impossible. Yeah, hip doesn't move, you will rip your pelvis apart, so don't do that. So, here. Let me demonstrate how, how we work the hip. So, 
hip at hand me, okay? This is now, uh, this knot, okay, my OB is attached to my hip. You can see, hopefully, that motion, how much this moves and how much it extends your punch and strengthens your punch. So that's what we're looking for here. So, wait. And you always, I step forward, get under right. It's Okay, so, so to go to your key. So to go to your key. Okay, each. Connect, connect, drive through with the hip. Shoulders, check your shoulders, are they relaxed? Okay. You only tense on contact. <laughs> tense, <laughs> tense. Not <laughs> like so. Okay, so don't do that. We do the, the dojo and I hope uh, uh, most people like that as much as I do because it's hilarious watching people's faces. So don't, don't tense too soon. Tense as you block. Tense. Relax. Tense at the end. Block. So connect the two. Connect the two with this. This is your jiku, your axis point. Really important. You're able to free up this part of your body. Takes takes time. Remember, we're at purple belt level now. So we've been training for probably three years, maybe longer. Okay, and we're starting to learn how to connect what's in here to the rest of this body. Don't just think muscles, okay? I think there's a common mistake there. Um, it's not just your muscles that control your body in karate. Definitely not. Think, think muscles, ligaments, tendons. Think bones. Connecting your bones together, yeah? In correct alignment, this biomechanical chain, the skeleton, is incredibly powerful and is pretty much indestructible. Get the bones out of alignment, put them in the wrong place, it's as strong as a, as a, as a straw, okay? So that's the thing, is about making that connection between your technique to make it as strong, as powerful as possible. Um, but it takes time, many years, many years of training. Important thing is just never to give up. So, step forward, get down the right, can I? Each, <coughs> so, so to yuki gakazuki. Okay, why is this difficult, more difficult than the 7th and, uh, uh, eight, sorry, 7th six, and 6th Q syllabus? Okay, because of this reason. So step forward. Each. <coughs> okay, you have to reconnect. Change your BOE position. Ready to step back. Otherwise, your arms will get wrong. So there's an element of mm, having to change the body before we move again. Okay, that's what makes this more difficult. Check those shoulders. Okay, coming back. Your e position. Your e position. Check her shoulders. Each. Your e position. Notice when I'm drawing the arm back here, I'm doing it relaxed. Okay, I'm not tensing anything. Naturally, just sitting in my stance, letting gravity do its job. Okay, which is drawing my tummy to the floor. Okay, and just being natural as much as we possibly can. Uh, Us, Zachary, us. Thank you for joining, young man. Hope you're well. Hope you're keeping well. And um, we continue. So let's do a few of those forwards and backs. So this is for the fifth and fourth cue syllabus. Eight, three, us. And yoi. And step forward, yidam, marai, kamai. Ichiya. Okay, so, so to yoki gakazuki. So to yoki gakazuki. Purple belt syllabus. Eight, yoi, ichiya. And back to yoi. Back to your knee. And back to your son. And back to your she. Back to your back. Back to your go. Back to your naturally. Just let everything relax naturally. Siege. Good strong one. Two. Hey, young lady. Hey, baby. And relax in a way. Okay, so when we train, 
uh, Keiko uh, means train training. Um, we have to try and be disciplined, uh, disciplined with ourselves. Okay, so paying attention to the correct bow, paying attention to correct your way, paying attention to basic punch, paying attention to basic block, paying attention to combinations and how they connect, and that's what makes a black belt. It's learning step by step, brick by brick, if we put it in that comparison against Lego, which I often do, okay, building, building, building slowly, layer, 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 layer. moving on to, towards the, the black belt examination. The biggest problem, unfortunately, when we get there is those bricks can sometimes fall down. And that's not really down to our training and main amount of effort we've put in. Um, I remember when I failed my black belt, I had trained solidly for five years, and I trained up to five nights a week, just purely because I absolutely love Shotokan Karate. And I was ready, and I was ready, and I came undone on probably the easiest thing that you can ever come undone, and that was a very basic kata at the end of my grading, which was my mind not prepared for anything. Okay, so it's important that we understand that everything we learn from white belt through to 10th dan black belt, okay, if anyone ever lives that long, we must remember every part of that journey. Okay, so what you need to do is a bit like going in through the woods, Hansel and Gretel, okay, you need to leave a trail of sweets or crumbs or whatever it is to find your way back because you, you never know when you're going to need the back bits. <laughs> okay, that's really, really important that no one forgets that. But it's something that we do forget. And I see it, I see it as an examiner now many times. Yeah, get people absolutely ready for their second, third, fourth dan, and they're really for it and they just fall apart on probably the beginning, which is a shame. So that's why tonight and Tuesday is a good lesson, I think, for you, everybody, so you can see that journey, but also understand the importance of it. Um, so leave breadcrumbs, that's the rule. Okay, let's move on. Right. Okay, so the final combination we're doing then is my favourite combination from our basic uh, Kihon syllabus, okay, and that is Sotoryuki, Sotoryuki, Yoko Suryen Byuchi, Iraqi Gekazuki. So I love this, I just think it connects really well, I really enjoy doing it, um, and I like the complexity of it. I think it's a bit daunting for low grades to see this and how we're connecting all these techniques, because there's stance changes, there's techniques that are new, we've not done elbows before probably at this point, and maybe even back fists, we've only done some of the lower grade hatter. So, so let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, you wait. Step forward, get down the right. Come on. Itch. Okay, so again, you only need the same distance coming forward. So, the first thing's first. The yoi position stays the same. The technique stays the same. The stance stays the same. You stay as a white belt at this point. Okay, so from here, just coming forwards, soft hold your keep, from stance, zen kutsudachi. So remember, this is wrong. Hips are handy. Okay, so I'm just going to try and make sure that I can keep in camera frame here, because we're going to change now. So this is correct. Then from here, open the hand, and you're going to come in Yoko Sui Impuchi, which is called sliding side elbow. And the stance that you're in will be Kibadachi. Kibadachi, horse riding stance. Okay, horse riding stance. So you change from Zenkutsudachi to Kibadachi, and then go back to Zenkutsudachi. So once more, once more, from here, Soto Yoki as we've done before, sliding in Yoko Suri Yenpyuchi, and then Yurakunuchi Gyakazuki. So from here, yeah, just relax the shoulder, relax the arm, tense only on impact. Okay, so elbow here, tense as you elbow, then relax. Hey, Gekasuki. Okay, coming back. Sotoryuki. Again, remember, white belt, no problems. S looking sliding. Yoko Sui Yenpyuchi. Yurakunuchi. Gyakasuki. Okay. So, much more complicated. So, we have stance changes from front to side, back to front. We don't just have the Sotoryuki now, we've taken away the Gakazuki until the end. We've now got Sui Yoko, Yoko Sui Yenpyuchi, which is slide inside elbow. And then we've got the back fist, the back fist, okay? The back fist can be done one of two ways in this position, here. Hold, 
here, bring it back. Okay. Um, because we're finishing with a Gakazuki, to, to me it doesn't really make any difference what you do there, and I like to practice both, so it depends on the wind as to what I do. Um, but the Uraken uh, that we do, the back fist, has to have Kime. So you have to have this. What Penny will do is wave that arm. Yeah, that's no good. It has to have control, so you must be able to stop it. The only way you can stop a technique from going properly is to relax. Relax, tense. It's really that simple. Tense, t tense from the beginning, can't stop it. Because the muscles are exhausted. As soon as you tense the muscle, it's done. It can't do anything else. It can't retense. Okay? You can't kind of like do this and then let it go and then bring it. It's very difficult to do. Very difficult to do. So important to be able to control this by relaxing the arms and shoulders and the hips and everything else and just <laughs> tensing when you need to. Soto, <laughs> tense when you need to. Yoko and Pucci, tense when you need to. Yeah? So I hope, hope that makes sense uh, for everybody and we'll demonstrate it now through the technique. So again, this is for third Q, second Q, first Q on our way on our journey to Black Belt. Okay, right, us. Hey, you wait and step forward to get down the right. Come each. Okay, so check your position. Make sure you have enough room to move forwards and backwards. Your position here. Soto udiyuki. Then outside forearm lock. Again, pay attention to basics. Shoulders. Make sure your hips land in the correct position. Make sure natural stance is in kutsudachi. Come through block each. Hey, then slide an elbow knee. A Yorakuchi Sun, hit back here, hit back, hit hand me, hand me. Oh, Gakazuki finish. A Yoi position to step back, Yoi position to step back. Each, hips, hand me, hand me. Sliding. Yoko, Sui and Puchi. A Yorakuchi, Yakazuki down centre again. Hip in, hand, uh, hand me to show me, show me. So in this technique, we go hand me, side on the hips, okay, hip here or hip here, square, showman, hand me, hand me, hips, half facing, showman. So between the four techniques, okay, Sotoryuki, Suryoku and Puchi, Yuraki and Yakazuki, we have two hand me facing hips, two showmen. Okay, so we step forward, get amber eye, hand me. Okay, so from this position here, this is our starting position. Okay, you always, so we step forward, hand me, then square, but this way, then hand me. Hand me, then Gyakazuki, showman, showman. That might be a bit advanced for some people, but I think if you're first cue, you start to understand how your hips work, so you should be, should be moving. And of course, if you want to have black belts, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, right, us. Hey, you wait, and step forward, get down the right, each, Okay, so check your stance, natural feel now. You shouldn't, as a higher grade, you should start to feel where you are. You should need to keep checking the floor, okay? Um, I think as white belts, right way through to probably purple belts, we often, because our instructors always tell us stances, and immediately they say stances, you look down. What they mean is stances, sink down. Yeah, naturally sink down. Don't look. Don't need to look down here. There's nothing down here, okay? So it's important to, to make sure you're correct. So blocking, soto yuki. Okay, then sliding. Showman hips, okay? And from here. Gyakazuki. Soto yuki. Shoko Sui and Puchi, Yurakin Hia, Gyakazuki. Yoi position here. You can leave your hip here, or here for here, it makes no difference really, but it's the technique that where it makes a difference. Hip back, hip in, out, and hip in. Come back. One, two, three, Hia! Hey, young man. Eight and eight, yours. And apologies for the loud bang. I'm assuming that that's one of my children falling off their beds, but they're old enough to now pick themselves up, I'm sure. Um, uh, no Holly this evening. She's uh, in the living room asleep. 
Oh, she's just snuggled up because I mentioned her name, so she's not going to have to join us this evening. You probably noticed the balloons behind me in the banners. Um, Josh's birthday today, so most of the black belts and juniors will know him from the Clifton Dojo, one of our instructors there. So, uh, yeah, it's my son's uh, 19th birthday. Um, I remember him starting karate when we opened the Clifton Dojo as a five year old. So, it was just before his uh, sixth birthday, I think, when we opened the dojo, which was a long time ago now, it seems like, a, seems like an age ago, 2007 I think it was. Um, and he's now same height as me and uh, big and strong and beefy. Has better facial hair as well. I hope you like my mo, it's going there. It's uh, midway through November and we'll continue to do that. As I've done for most years now, for about nine or 10 years I think. Okay, great. Oss, yoi. A step forward, get amber eye, itch. Okay, so let's go right the way through from beginning to black belt. Okay, so check your position. So we're going to do soto ryuki, so it's forwards and backwards, soto ryuki. Each. Hey, and stepping back, knee. Okay, now we're going to go for sort of seventh and eight, uh, seventh and sixth cue, so outside block, reverse punch, downward block. Soto ryuki, yakuz gigi lamburai. Ish. Okay, now we're going fifth, fourth cue, so just block and punch, outside block, reverse punch, outside block, reverse punch, soto ruki gakuzuki. Shoulders, check them. Ich. Yoi position. Ni. A yoi position. Now third cue, second cue, first cue, soto ruki. Ich. Yoko ruki. Yoraku. Gakuzuki. Yoi position, basic technique, basic technique, square hips. Hey, and step forward, gear down the right in my opposite legs, the midi ash. Each. So this is right leg forward, so for left handed people, this is your one, and your turn to shine. Hey, soto ryuki, just a block. Ish. And step in back. Knee. Hey, now, soto ruki gakazuki gilamurai. Ich. Ni. Hey, now, fourth and fifth cue. Soto ruki gakazuki. Ich. Change the arms, remember. Change the arms, remember. Ich. This week, so we've done Agi Yuki, okay, with the combinations, Soto Yuki with the combinations, okay. So Agi Yuki, slightly different, okay, we put in a kick with that, so we did the block only, then we did the block punch block, block punch, and then block kick punch, okay. Soto Yuki, the development is similar, block, block punch block, block punch, block elbow punch punch. The idea of these combinations is to build build on our knowledge from beginner through to black belt, okay? And um, remembering each part of that journey, if that makes sense, okay? If you forget that, then you're losing sight of where you came from, okay? And then when, as I said, you get to your black belt examination, it's that bit that will undo you, okay? It's not Kankudai, it's not Gion, it's not the black belt katas that will undo you, it's Hian Shodan, which is what kind of did me. Yeah, okay, so I think I did four katas for my showdown grading, and uh, from what I understand, they were all reasonable. I wouldn't go as far as saying good, but they're okay. Fifth one, <coughs> here and showdown, no good. Completely forgot what it was, to be on perfect honest. Thought I'd never even been taught it. I was training five nights a week. My sense is that I was ready, I thought I was ready, but it can go wrong if we take our sight away from the journey that got there in the first place. So even now, after 30 years, I always look back to those days and I still look at my white belts and think, oh God, I wish I was you. Uh, why, why a lot of people say, why do you want to be a white belt again? Well, because it was an exciting start to an incredible journey. 
Yeah, the last 30 years have been phenomenal. I've had some really massively big ups, and then I've had some cliff face drops, okay? Generally breakages with the body. But the journey has been incredible. I've met wonderful people all over the world, I've trained all over the world, and um, to me, I've just started. So the next 30 years, hopefully, will be even better. But I do look at white belts, and I'm slightly envious. I remember those days of opening traditional karate magazine and combat magazine. They were still made in black and white back in those days, and don't know, it was a very, very special time. And uh, um, that's why I look, look at the white belts and think, wish that was me. But I also am pleased I am me and made that journey because uh, it's been amazing. So, okay, thanks so much for, for joining me. Just a quick recap then on what we've done this week. So just nice and slow speed, just to warm down. Step forward, gear down right. Itch. So this is just a little combination between the two nights. Okay, so number one, step forward, agiyuki. Itch. Number two, step back, sotoyuki. Okay, then step forward, agiyuki. Punch, gidanburai. Step back, sotoyuki, yakuzuki, gidanburai. What's with me? Step forwards. Agiyuki, gyakuzuki. Remember to change your arms. Sotoyuki, gyakuzuki. Hey, us, still with me? <laughs> Not so sure, maybe some of you are. Agiyuki, Maigeri, Yakuzuki. Step back, Sotoyuki, Yoko, and Pirakin. Yah, Yakuzuki. Hey, change legs, get Amurai. Step forwards, Agiyuki. Step back, Sotoyuki. Hand me. Step forwards, Agiyuki, Yakuzuki, get Amurai. Stepping back, Sotoyuki, Yakuzuki, get Amurai. Us, stepping forwards, Agiyuki, Yakuzuki. Step back, Sotoyuki, Yakuzuki. Step forwards, Agiyuki, Maigeri, Yakuzuki. Sotoyuki, Yokumpuchi, Rakuji, Yakuzuki. Eight, yeah, mate. Never done that. Never done that before in my life. Good fun though. Okay. So just the, the lessons we've had this week. Beginner to black belt. How to make a black belt. Really simple. Train, train, train a bit more. Keep training. Don't give up. And uh, you will easily be able to wear one of these. Which I think is still the most special thing that I've ever done. Okay. Because it's a personal thing. You can only do it on your own. Okay. It's good to have instructors and family and people around you to support you. But you are doing this yourself. This is your Everest as I call it. So uh, anyway, thanks so much for joining me on this Thursday evening. We'll straighten our geese and obies and then we'll do the dojo kun to finish the lesson until next week. Okay. Uh, Kyosuke. Hey, ready? Os. Dojo kun. Hitots jinkan go kansei ni soramoto koto. Hitots makato no michi o momoru koto. Hitots, Doryoko no Seishin, Yashi no Koto. Hitots, Reyo Amajo Koto. Hitots, Keki no Yo Inashimuru Koto. Anyway, boss. Boss. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I will hopefully see you on Tuesday next week, okay, for another Karate in Your Own Dojo. Uh, again, if you've got some suggestions and some ideas around the, uh, what you'd like to see in the lesson, Okay, bearing in mind of the uh, circumstances that we're working within. Um, no spinning, jumping, flying kicks or anything like that. I think that's too dangerous in kitchens. Um, uh, but hopefully you'll get to join me uh, on, on Tuesday at 7pm and again on Thursday. Remember, these lessons are posted on our Facebook page so you can watch them at a later date and train with them. Okay, and I'm also trying to upload them now to YouTube, to our YouTube channel. If you've not been on that before, that's got some great bits on there from some of my training abroad. Um, to also some of the instructors uh, doing katas. Um, there's about 60 odd videos I think now. I shot loads over the summer holidays, just very simple basic karate uh, uh, videos, not very long, five, ten minutes some of them, uh, just showing you the basic techniques. Just to try and give a bit of a back, back catalogue in terms of some of the stuff that you're learning, um, particularly during Covid. Um, I think it's really important. Um, my camera has just said to me, hello beautiful, it's time to work out your body. I'd, I'd like to thank my camera for telling me that. I think that's wonderful. Um, the fact that it thinks I'm beautiful is even better. So, uh, us, thank you, camera. 
and uh, that's obviously my wife's phone and not mine. <laughs> I'll see you on Tuesday. Us. Or you soon as I get to because they must have a fantastic weekend. Us. Us. Jamatale. See you soon. Us. <laughs> that's the funniest thing ever.